School kitchen manager Della Curry was fired from her job at a public school in Aurora, Colorado for buying a child lunch that was crying and starving. The student did not qualify for free reduced lunch. The protocol was supposed to give the hungry student a bun with cheese on it. Ms. Curry felt that this is not sufficient meal and believes the requirements should be changed. Nick. Cherry Creek School District won't comment on personnel issues, but they have said that if she was terminated, it's because she did violate, which was the written policy. And if let's just go over a little bit what the written policy okay. is. If you the policy is if you do forget your lunch, the school will up to three times pay for lunches. It's the fourth that then they won't pay for it, and you're given the bun with the cheese on it and some milk. Which Della Curry was very upset about this and said gave her own money, which is actually a good deed, and now she's being fired, and a lot of people are, uh, it's being trending right now all over the internet that this was wrong. People are pissed off, and rightfully so. Look, I know technically she did break the rules. Um, in fairness, there is the rule that they will give the child who forgets their lunch three opportunities, right? If you forget your lunch three times, they will provide you with a meal. On the fourth, you have to pay for your own. Okay, that's fair, that's a fair idea, but you shouldn't be firing someone who gives food to a hungry kid because ultimately that's what's happening. You're punishing someone who felt sympathy for a child who doesn't have food. This is America. I don't think in a country that has more than enough food for everyone, I'm not going to get into how much food is thrown out um, from uneaten lunches in these schools every day because that's a different discussion, but that just gives you an idea. We have more than enough food and kids shouldn't be going hungry. I understand it's the rules but sometimes rules should be allowed to bend a little bit and shown some leniency for people like this because at the end of the day, she was doing something good from deep in her heart, and I would have done the same thing. Yeah, I wonder how much food is actually probably thrown away. They should even look at at, its, at every school. Is every food actually used at the end of the day? And also the liability, even though the policy does state that, you have a kid at school, and if they're hungry and starving, can they be able to perform well if they're lightheaded? And also the liability, they play sports, there's gym. I mean, if, they're, if they are starving and they're hungry, that's almost, they could faint, they could get very sick. So I also think that it is a little bit, even if they didn't have the money, and we have to look at why um, this protocol, 31,000, they say you can have free redu free lunch. 45,000 is for a reduced lunch. Family's income. But, and obviously this family income, if kids are coming and they don't have the money, perhaps these is not the answer. We have to go back and look at the numbers. Yeah, I mean, look, all of these things are just, it's, it's just ridiculous to me. The fact that there are rules that are set in place, okay, I, I understand, we should follow these rules. But sometimes, breaking the rules doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad person. Um, you mentioned how this was trending on Facebook. Uh, speaking of which, I've seen numerous stories trending on Facebook where some good-hearted civilian went out, set up tables uh, in San Francisco. I think the most recent one that I saw was he set up uh, tables and he was feeding the homeless, which is technically illegal in that city. And instead of cops coming and saying, well, What's happening here? I mean, he's giving food to people who are clearly in need. No, they arrest them, they take them away, they fine them, they do all these things because they are technically breaking the law. And I get it, but come on. What they're doing ultimately is a good thing, breaking the law or not, which is why I find it so sad that although you're breaking the law, you're still punished because you're doing something that isn't harming anyone, quite the opposite. No, I agree, and she was adamant about that. She wasn't complaining in all in her interviews and saying that I'm not complaining about being terminated. I just want to be the example to make a change that obviously if I'm having to give money to pay for a kid starving, these numbers aren't working. And I hope and a lot of other people would do the same thing that yes. she did too. I mean, yes. Giving a kid who's clearly hungry, you know, a cheese and bun might help them uh, get through their hunger, but it's not going to completely satisfy them. So I, I couldn't look at a kid and say, ah, sorry, I can only give you one little piece of bread. I, I couldn't do that. Yeah, and I hope a lot of people who work at these schools uh, have that same mindset. I agree. And no good deed should go unpunished, they say. So I believe in that too as well. And I agree with you. We'd like to hear your comments below on the fate of Della Curry. And thank you for watching the Lip TV too. And don't forget to subscribe.